Look, look, these kondongs and uh, sandalwoods are starting to take off. They're becoming tough little plants, tough little junior trees. I think this is the sandalwood, this one. I put the sandalwood nuts and the kondong nuts everywhere, all over the place. This is uh, sandalwood, I think. This one looks a bit different. I think that's a kondong. They're getting to be a good size and they're getting all tough looking. Just like junior wattles, junior acacias or junior gum trees, they're starting to look very tough. I can't wait till they're covered in fruits. I can't tell the difference between a kwandong and a sandalwood, but I've put hundreds of sandalwood and kwandong seeds all over the place. That one looks a bit different from that one beside it. Looks a bit different from this one. The leaves aren't exactly the same. So they could all both be sandalwoods for all I know. Let's have a closer look anyway, a handheld view. This is, I think, a sandalwood. I think it's a sandalwood. If you know better, please tell me. Very tough, they can endure the heat. They're not growing that fast, so I've just given them a little bit of extra water to help them along. I've got the brick around them to stop the wallaby from eating them. Well, eating them down to ground level. Nothing bad's happened at the moment, though. Is this a kwandong? Is this one a kwandong? It looks a bit different from the other one. I don't think it's a wattle. I'm starting to discover new ones all over the place because I planted so many. A lot of them escaped, escaped my gaze at first, but there's more and more of them now. That one's leaves are slightly different again. They're all slightly different. They could all be sandalwoods, I suppose. I hope they're not because I want both sandalwoods and kwandongs. I've only noticed this one in the past few days. This one's a good tough little specimen. Quite a tough little sturdy little plant, that one. Here's another, here's another, a good size. Once they get to a good size they can look after themselves. Let's just show you how big it is compared to my hat, this one. So, that's quite a good size. They're starting to take off. I won't have to worry about them. I won't, they're just getting bigger. And they'll be able to look after themselves. That's pretty much what they're doing now, but at least I can keep an eye on them. This one's a good sized one, and all tough. It's getting all woody and tough. It can look after itself soon enough. It's growing in pine needles, this one. Beautiful one. Is it a sandalwood? I think it's a sandalwood. Both uh, sandalwood and kwandong. Is a San a kwandong and sandalwood are both sandalwood. Yes, sandalwood have beautiful, sa fragrant wood and uh, edible nuts. Kwandongs have. I think their woods are uh, fragrant too, but they've certainly got the edible nuts and they've got the edible fruit, the flesh, on the kwandong. Is or can be made into pies and everything. Yeah, 
it does pay to scatter seeds all over the place. This is a ruby salt bush that's just coming up. I just discovered it. I just discovered it on my path, actually. I hadn't seen it before. But that's a ruby salt bush. It has edible leaves and edible berries, so that's something for me to look forward to. I've uh, tossed out hundreds of little ruby salt bush seeds, spat them out actually all over the place. And of course the birds drop them too. So that's something to look forward to. I keep discovering more sandalwoods and uh, little quandongs all, all the time. I haven't surveyed the entire place, but there's quite a few. I keep discovering more all the time. So this is another sandalwood, I think. Something to look forward to. More sandalwoods coming up all over the place. This one's coming up under an olive tree. That's a little sand. That's two sandalwoods close by, side by side. I must have put two seeds there. So you see, what, they're coming up all over the place, and they can stand the winter here, which is quite frosty. We have heavy frosts, and it's very dry and hot in summer here in the Lachlan Valley. So they can cope here, sandalwoods and quandongs. That's good to know. And finally, here's another sandalwood coming out right near the house. I don't recall planting this. That's good when you don't recall planting something and then you suddenly find you've got a, something very wonderful that make, gives you joy. That's a little sandalwood. I just discovered it this week growing right under my nose all the time.